What's up? Today I will give you a video tutorial on how to use remote screening with your computer and your iPhone or iPod Touch. Um, for your iPod Touch, you're willing to be on Wi-Fi, but for your iPhone, you can be on Edge slash 3G. So, what the files you're going to need are the app for the iPhone is Mocha VNC Lite. This app is full featured; you wouldn't even know it was Lite. The desktop app you will need is Real VNC 4, and um, those are the two apps you need: one for your computer, one for your iPhone slash iPod Touch. So, without further ado, I'll go into the close-up camera down here with my iPhone, and we'll install it on my iPhone. So, see you down there. Peace. Okay, so what you're going to want to do down here is you're going to want to launch your app store. I already did that. You can also do this on your computer, but I just didn't feel like syncing up. You're going to, it's not going to be on the main page, you're going to have to search for this. So let's search for Mocha VNC and it comes up we're going to hit the light version go in here I don't know why it only has three stores I really liked it so you're going to install it like a normal app and then you're going to go find it on your iPhone launch it and then you're going to so come up to the screen. Now we're going to leave this and we're going to go to my computer for now. I will be back down here when I'm setting this up. See you on the computer. Okay, so once you're done with the iPhone app, you're going to go to, um, you're going to pull up this. You obviously won't have this, but I have this. You're going to look for your desktop app. It's called Re Real VNC Free Edition 4.1. So let's copy that. And let's open up a web browser. Pete Mosho, little shout out right there. Go make sure you subscribe to him. So we're going to do a Google search for this. And what you're going to get is you um, click on this and you basically enter your info. Don't be worried, guys. These guys don't spam. Trust me. Um, they're a real company, they don't spam, and it's not a gimmick. They don't take your info and sell it. So, what you're going to do is, then you're going to just click proceed to download after you put in your info, and it'll take you to a download .exe file. This does not have viruses either. You're going to download this .exe file, and, hold on, let's just do this for kicks. So, just enter some of your info. You guys already knew my email address. So, um... I can't talk. VNC Free Edition for Windows. You, you don't need to download the zip file. Just download the executable. I accept. Download. You're going to open. run next I accept next now you just have to download the VNC server don't click that next don't click either of these they will be checked when you get in here but uncheck them you don't need those install finish finish okay now you can exit out your web browser now, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your programs and you're going to click Real VNC. Configure user mode set settings. What you're going to click is No Authentication. It'll be on VNC Password Authentication. Click No Authentication and Apply. I already did that, so exit out of there. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to hit Real VNC Run run the server. So now you'll get this little thing up here. So next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your command prompt and you're going to type in ipconfig. It's going to be right here. ipconfig. 
and then so let's do that oops so run command i p config it'll give you your ip address this is what you want you want your ip address 10.0.1.2 so that's what that's going to give you now with your email address in mind write that down write your ip address down yours might have three letters at the beginning or it'll be different so now we're going to go back down to the iphone and enter the info we need in the iphone see you down there okay so now what you're going to do is you're going to go um, you can just tap this button if you're a first time user for this but since I already used this, I'm going to go up here to menu. You can also do this. Edit connections. You're going to have zero connections here. I already have a connection here, obviously. So this is my IP address, 10.0.1.2. You're going to hit that. Here's your info that you'll have to enter. Your IP address, that's default port. Your VNC password. Now what you're going to do for this is you're just going to enter pound symbol. That's all it is, since we have no password. Um, I like to do these. Um, I don't want mouse offset, but all these save passwords, Mac OS 10 server. Show warnings for. So now that we have all that entered, you're just going to hit connect. And then it's going to connect, and you will see my desktop. Working on it, working on it. It takes a little longer. I would guess on the 3GS it's faster. And there is my desktop in real time. We can turn it in landscape. Um, I don't have a widescreen, but if it's widescreen, you can um, see the whole desktop at once. See, there's your info. Mocha VNC Lite. All this good stuff. Um, you can even launch an application. Let's launch iTunes. Um, I don't have an iTunes open. Let's launch iTunes. So it's launching iTunes. It's a little bit delayed, it has a frame rate, and the frame rate maybe is one frame every two seconds, one frame every three seconds. So I can see on my monitor iTunes is already open. So here it is on the iPhone. So this is really neat. You can even play music. I don't want to get in copyright issues here, but let's play. Okay. So, I'm going to exit out with my mouse before I get in copyright issues, but you have the idea. Um, let me not touch the iPhone and you'll see my mouse move. So, it is in real time. This is a really cool application, and I hope you guys do enjoy this. You can use this for countless things. It can be used in 3G or Edge on the iPhone or Wi-Fi. You don't have to be on your home Wi-Fi network. You can be anywhere in the U.S. Your computer just has to be on and this program has to be currently running. Also, you... I, hold on, I'll show you up here. When you are connected, it'll be on the bottom for Windows users, but you will see this turn black. So, thanks guys, comment, rate, and subscribe. That was a video on how to use remote desktop on an iPhone 3G, iPhone 3GS, and iPod Touch. Thanks guys, hope to see you in the next video. Peace.